What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Trials of Osiris loot from last week on all three of my characters. So last week's Trials map was Exodus Blue, another map that we saw early on in year two. And to be honest, I'm not a big fan of this map. It's a very small map, probably one of the smallest ones in the Trials rotation. So there's a lot of close quarters combat, there's a lot of boxes and stuff and objects all around the map that are in the way as well so not a really big fan of this map but still we got some uh, decent stuff this week so let's get straight into it starting off with my first character on my warlock from the lighthouse chest we ended up getting ourselves a doctrine of passing adept and four motes of light and my doctrine of passing came in at the 317 attack value and with the hidden hand a perk on it so I actually still have yet to get a counterbalance Doctrine of Passing. I kind of want one to try it out. And this week was also Doctrine of Passing as the 7th win weapon reward for just playing Trials as well and getting 7 wins. So I did have 3 more chances to get a Doctrine of Passing and all 3 of mine did not come with the counterbalance perk. So I got pretty unlucky but we still got a couple more Lighthouse chests to open. Going into my Trials bounties on my Warlock, we got more Passage Coins, Motes of Light, and Legendary Marks. For the Silver tier, we finally got an Exotic after how long, and we got a Heart of Praxic Fire. And then for my Gold tier, we got a Helmet, the Blind Jackal Mass. So my Heart of Praxic Fire came in at 317, a pretty cool. Finally getting an Exotic from that Silver tier after how long, I don't know the last time I got one. And then for the Gold tier, we got a 309 with intellect strength on my helmet so pretty decent stuff out of my bounty rewards for that first one moving on to my next character on my hunter from the lighthouse chest we ended up getting a reflection sum and four motes of light and my reflection sum came in at 310 attack with the head seeker perk on it so pretty unlucky attack value on that second one but head seeker is probably the best perk to get on the reflection sum and then for my Trials Bounties on my Hunter, we got more Passage Coins, Motes of Light, Blue Engrams, Legendary Marks. For the Silver tier, we got Unlucky with no Exotic on that one. And for the Gold tier, we got another Helmet. So pretty lucky I got another Helmet on that one. And this one was 303 with Intellect and Discipline and Angel of Mercy as one of the perks. Pretty good Helmet. I already have one though, but still pretty solid. I'm getting Armor Pieces out of my Gold tier. That's probably the best thing you can get. Finally, for my last character on my Titan, from the Lighthouse Chest, we got another Reflection Sum and 5 Motes of Light. And this one came in at 317 with Headseeker once again, so pretty solid drops. We got two 317s, I believe, from my Lighthouse Chest, so pretty good on those. And then for my last set of bounties for that week, we ended up getting more Passage Coins, Motes of Light, and Legendary Marks. For my silver tier, we ended up getting unlucky once again with no exotic. And for the gold tier, we got another armor piece, so that's pretty cool. We got the gauntlets this time with intellect and strength and hand cannon reload on it. Not the greatest, strength isn't really good on titan. If it was intellect discipline, that would have been a lot better. But still, I'd rather get armor pieces than artifacts or some weapons that we already have. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm really excited. I was really happy about the exotic from my silver tier it's been a while since i got an exotic from silver tier and uh so stay tuned for iron banner rewards at the end of this week thank you guys for watching once again and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace